tour of my craft room. Sure. I know a lot of people have been asking, so come on, come on in. We've done a few changes lately, I'm very excited. But it's Kylie Patucci here, Stampin' Up! Demonstrator in Australia, and I want to show you our craft room. So come on in. Do you like this pretty picture here? And add wall decals. We've got all sorts of pretty little things that inspire creativity in this room. So first thing you'll see when you come in is our office because we use it for both the business, for my recording, for blogging, and also our videos. Uh, so this is my desk here. This is where I sit and do all my work. This one's for Jesse when she comes in once a week. Bruno has his own office in his own room so that we don't hurt one another. <laughs> no, it's, we just work better in separate rooms. <laughs> and this is where I film from. So when you see me filming, I sit here and this is what you see when I'm doing my videos. So this is our beautiful Calex system that we got from Ikea. So this is five by five. What, it, what I mean by five by five is five inserts by five inserts. And the inserts are designed by Colcraft. Some of them we designed ourselves, and it's a company here in Australia. So please don't ask me again. <laughs> Colcraft, no, you can ask. I'm sure people will ask, but if you see someone ask, just tell them, Colcraft, do me a favor and help me out. <laughs> it's my number one question I get asked. So here in our storage, we have some really cool things. This is actually a brand new system because we had a four by four and then an extra one for cardstock. But the genius Bruno organized this because he knew that it would solve a few um, storage solutions and give us more room in the, the space here is a lot bigger. So what we've done is we've got all our cardstock up the top. We've got some storage up the top here as well for the extra packs of cardstock that we may need. And you may notice that the inks coordinate with the paper. So when Jesse asks me what color something is, I'm like, just refer to the ink, Jesse, and then you can see, compare. <laughs> Sometimes she's just, you know, wants to talk to me, but I get annoyed. <laughs> I'm like, I'm working. So these are all of our stacks uh, that coordinate with each other. And then with our stamps, they are all in alphabetical order, which is really, really handy because I can just refer to my catalog and I know exactly where to go. And that's really helped. Bruno was dotting these with our catalogs and it does help when retired list comes in case you're wondering what those dots are, but we've been a bit slack the last catalog, haven't we Bruno? Well, um, it was easy with this last the, the annual catalogue. With the annual catalogue, it was easy because they had, they had a, the new, a new spine. But yeah, but now the since the occasions and, come, and the hover, yeah. It's throwing that out. So that's another thing that yeah. we need to get on top of because it does make life a lot easier come retired this time because we do sell all our retired stamps. We only keep current product because we don't want to accidentally use something and then can't people, sell it. people will be like, we want to buy it and we can't because it's retired and that would be really depressing. So we have to make sure everything's up to date. So the next layer we have here is all of the punches. These are all current punches. And we've noticed that Stampin' Up! are increasing the amount of punches that they're releasing, which is very exciting. We love punches. So we had actually removed this insert and put it in the garage. I was going to sell it, but never got around to it. Thank goodness, because we've brought this back in. And then Bruno took out some of these inserts so that we can put embellishments, the dauber, sponge dauber holders, some memories and more. So that's really, really handy having that space there and not just having empty slots, it's filled and utilized well. Then we've got the uh, blends here as well. Bruno got this on eBay. You can just look up storage for these pens, alcohol markers. And we've got the beautiful stamp and write markers and also my water coloring pencil. So that's all my sort of coloring needs. We've got some 12 by 12 paper here uh, that's left in the shelves. However, this is probably going to be going pretty soon because I love the new love it chop it idea of putting it into our storage cases. So that will be really good because that will create a whole extra space for us and we'll be able to just put all of the stamp cases, which I prefer because it can be a little bit annoying, can't it Bruno? 
Hmm. We find that paper a little bit annoying. So cho chopping it straight away is the best thing you can do. Now the bottom section is still a work in progress. What we'll probably end up doing is, you'll see the last container at the end here. This has all our envelopes. Do you think we have enough envelopes yeah, and note cards? <laughs> so we're going to get black ones of these, because that'll look really nice, and then have them all the way along the bottom. So any of those sort of storage type things, it's still neat, but it will just keep that really, really tidy and just look aesthetically pleasing to the eye. So that's what's going to fix that. Do you like all our adhesives? And that's low at the moment. It's very low. We need a lot more dimensionals. I just ordered 20 packs of dimensionals. 20 packs? Good. Excellent. Any Tombow? Uh, not, I'm not sure it was in that order. We've got a few, but we'll definitely be needing some because we they get now. used a lot. So that is the Calyx system. So remember that's from Colecraft. Did you get a full view of it? Can you um, see it from there? It's a beautiful setup. As as much as you can anyway. Celebration time. <laughs> yeah, you can't see my signs anymore on my videos, so I'm gonna have to come up with something probably along here that I stick on. So the other thing I can show you along here, so I've got this little floating shelf. Corner, sorry. So this is our little friend, Google, that mm. I ask questions to. This is printer. Printer and, and underneath. And our little air conditioner. Yeah. Underneath, drawers with all the cello bags. Cello bags. So we just keep all of our cello bags in here. All different sizes. Ready to go. You've got a lot of different sizes, which is great for storage as well. Mini fan. Yeah, a little fan. We might end up getting an air conditioner in here, but we're doing pretty well and it's summer here in Australia at the moment and we're surviving. Jesse doesn't survive sometimes, but I'm probably a bit better with the heat, but we'll see how we go. We might end up getting one. But this is my new Big Shot trolley. So this trolley comes from Ikea as well, but I'm pretty sure you can get them in a lot of places now. I saw a similar one in Kmart. Yeah, Kmart. Yeah, there's a lot of different places that sell it. I know the US don't have Kmart anymore, but I'm sure you'll be able to find it with stamp and storage. I think they even had like special storage things that you could put in your trolleys. And I find these trolleys really, really handy. So particularly because when the Big Shot, I want it to come out, I can just, Bring it on out and I have it set up with the framelits. I've got the bigger framelits, the embossing folders, and then the smaller framelits. And they're all in alphabetical order. So you can see from the front. And again, that's just gonna make my life a lot easier when I'm looking for a particular folder and I know exactly what I wanna use. I've got my multi-purpose adhesive sheets so and also my, my trimmers. Yeah, these are very, very important if you get those well said little framelits with the words on it. And all my platforms, because my platforms keep changing, I've got magnetic plate here, but I've got other platforms here if I need to change out my platform. Mm -hmm. And also my Big Shot brush, which I try to keep sitting up like that so that I don't lose him. So we might find a better way to keep him sitting up. So that is my Big Shot trolley, which is so handy. And by the way, Bruno turned this upside down really good hint if you get one of these trolleys you just did you just unscrew it and yep. then yep turn it i up. copied it off someone else can't yep. remember who otherwise i'd yep. say so that's a really yeah. really handy idea for your big shot i wasn't keen at first but it has given us a lot more bench space not having the big shot on here and very handy for even videos and things like that i can just bring the whole trolley over and then put it back on the trolley so cool. really good now over here we have... So back have... to over here, we were talking about this. Oh thing. yes. So we've got this one, which is our Google Home. Very handy for when I want to know the temperature. Okay, Google, what's the temperature at the moment? The current temperature in Werribee is 25. 25, that's Okay, pleasant. Google, what's the current temperature in Fahrenheit at the moment? The current temperature in Werribee is 77 degrees Fahrenheit. By the way, you can say always use Fahrenheit for weather. No, thanks. <laughs> no, we won't understand. So this, this crazy thing here, I know this is going to freak you out, but this is what I take my photos in. Wow. So you do not need anything fancy. This is literally one of the boxes, Copier boxes. Yeah, that the paper, our copy paper comes in. And I cut out holes on the edges. And yes, yeah, so as you can see, there's a few little holes and things like that because it's quite fragile. So I just end up ripping that off and putting some new tissue paper on each edge. So I've just replaced the top one, hence why there's no holes in that. But 
but I will do the sides um, very soon as well because yeah it doesn't take much and then I just tape it down as you can see there's lots of layers there <laughs> and this is coming apart so yeah every now and then I give it some love. So that colour at the back? So this is the petal pink and I've just matched it with my card that I made and can you change the that? Other day. Yes, I just pull out the cardstock, and that's what's perfect about it being copy paper. Is I know it's the exact same size as our cardstock mm -hmm. A4 for us here, but I'm sure if you get copy paper at in your place, um, it'll be the size of your cardstock. Mm. So I just swap that out depending on what color I want. I try and pick a subtle color in the background for my photos because I want the card to be the hero, but I do like having that. You know, pretty look in the background and if I want to eventually I could do some little um, like we've got contact with wood on it and I could contact some oh. paper and put that on the background I'll show you the contact in a moment but yeah there's a lot of different ideas but I do really like this is sort of my theme and people know my cards when they see it because it always has the color in the background so I like being a bit different because mm. everyone's kind of doing wood at the moment so I'll just do the opposite because that's how I roll. Now these ones here, you're getting a bit of a sneak oh, peek. Oh, you don't look. But it's all right, you can have a sneak peek. But uh, we've been very busy this week doing swaps, our um, Love It, Chop It, Simple Stamping swaps for On Stage in April. And we like to get organized because we know how busy it starts getting. So we're really excited to have all our swaps done. So if you're coming to Auckland On Stage, please come and see us because we will have swaps for you. And over here, Brenna has a new idea coming that we will sh we will see whether I approve or not. But I really do love this. It gives me joy and makes me feel like I've got sort of a design element or um, yeah, just a, just a nice feel to the room. Some plant like little plants and things like that. Even though they're not real, but they probably look real. Um, they're the best kind. I don't have to water them because they're probably dead. Uh, but it, yeah, it's really nice just to pop a few things up and we've got things that we got from Thailand. Unfortunately, that broke in the luggage on the way home. Oh, <laughs> didn't know that. Yeah, so I have to glue that. But yes, just some memorabilia that we've got some from some of our on-stage things. Now here we've got, um, this trimmer is just new and we totally are chucking it out because it's a really cheap one. But we're in the process of finding a new trimmer like a heavy duty one you know the Stampin' Up! one's great when I'm just doing a card for card making for videos but when I'm doing like a bulk amount say something like this I want something that's going to cut like four bits of paper at a time so we're just looking into that it's very challenging finding a good trimmer that works and we've got the grid paper of course because I do a, a fair bit of creating here as well as Jessie's desk so both of them we've got our glue if you want to know where to get where to get the glue holders that's etsy go there and have a look at the tombow adhesive glue holders do you know the store name i don't we'll put a link yeah i've totally forgotten and then we've got tools and we've got some glue scissors washi just some essential items for uh, card making in the corner over here is still a work in progress uh, but today we actually bagged all of these talking about cello bags we put all of them into a cello bag in each colour and they're in colour families. So I know that when I'm going here, these are the regals, these are the subtles, these are the brights, these are the neutrals and at the back is the in colours and they're in each colour and they're all of our scraps. So sometimes I'll cut one of our A4 papers in half and then at least I know I can put straight away, I can put the other half in here to be used next time. So. I'll just go to this before I start creating and just see if there's a card front here first before cutting paper. Because I just find it's a lot neater um, having the full A4 in my in the cupboard instead of scraps sitting in there. It just looks too messy, especially for my videos. So this is just a great way to be able to use up my scraps. Because we don't want to waste anything around here. Now this is our designer series paper drawer. This is a work in progress as well because what I want to do, and I mentioned it before, is love it, chop it, and put all of the same paper in a box together. Um, it doesn't have to be the same with every scrap. I could have a box that's just scraps, but eventually I want them all in here. And it does, you know, I can stack them in here and have all my designer series paper, but it's going to be a lot easier to grab out, a lot easier to use. Um, it just sparks joy then. Like this does not spark joy. You look at this and when you're in chaos, 
it does not make you happy and it does not invoke creat creativity. So that's something that you want to do is use our storage boxes for storage, which is great. Now, this next trolley here is uh, for all of my essential items. So, of course, I've got my embossing gun there. And when I pull this out, I'll show you what I've got in here. So, the top is my Archon camera, and that's for filming downwards when I'm using my Switcher Studio. So, because... just to confirm, do you use your iPhone to record videos? Correct. So, that's a spare iPhone okay. that just sits there for recording, which is very handy. It's not a spare whole iPhone. Well, it is a spare. It's. We were not going we to sell, sell it, it, but I might get a couple of hundred dollars for it, whereas now it's been used very well because it's a great camera. So I do that. I have my Stamparatus, my chamois, my Simply chamois, which Chamois. I absolutely love, my, my chamois, and of course my little grid paper for the Stamparatus. And we even have our own stamps. We got them made by Bossy Josie, and there's some really cool little stamps there, handmade by Kylie and things like that. So we like having our own little personal. I love the Love It Chop It, and I'm bringing rack cards back. They're all really good. So congratulations on your advancement. Mm. Yeah, so they're handy for our cards, for our team. And blocks, of course, I can never have too many blocks. And I love, love, love my card templates. If you haven't seen my card templates before, just Google Kylie Batucci card templates. They help you to get creating quickly and easily and accurately. No more guessing, no more eyeballing. Now the next layer is, I've got some um, baby wipes because they're very, very handy. And in here I have my tray, which sadly isn't current anymore, but I love it so much I don't wanna get rid of it. So that's for embossing. And then I have my other embossing powders here and some other different embellishments that I can store in here, ready to use at any time, gold clips and things like that. And if I wanted to, I could actually transfer a lot of this into my drawers because a lot of this I'm sort of cleaning up. There's just some little punches and things like that in here. Kept my cropper dial too, I love that. Um, so yes, eventually we could probably move them in there and create more space, but this seems to work for now because it's all current product. And the next one we have the brush -o, just some more glue, some cleaner. Even in here, we've got the the sprays. What are they called again? Stamp them? No. Oh yeah, spritzer. spritzer. Yep, spritzer, and even the the blend. Mark I've got other blends out, but these are just a second pack in case the other ones run out. Um, oh, some embossing powder. I put that in the other embossing powder tray, and yeah, I couldn't say goodbye to these. I kept them anyway, just in case. But I must say, I haven't been using them, which is exciting. And the last layout, which I was a bit naughty yesterday, and just threw that in. But I did notice that. Sorry, Bruno. I am trying, I promise. But these are all our current ribbons. This lot of ribbons threw me out. This is where I was like, oh, where am I going to put all these ribbons? There's new ribbons that have arrived. So these are the st um, celebration ones, which I found out... Um, available anymore in Australia. They're the celebration ones. So that's very sad. So more than likely, I'll um, give them to Bruno as giveaways because we can't use them anymore because you can't get them. So we don't like using things you can't use. So I'll keep that out of the trolley to remind myself to give it to Bruno. So there you go, it's cleared up space. This is the key. If you look at KonMari and if you look at Marie Kondo, you don't want it's to keep thing. things. <laughs> well, you know, people are like, who's Marie Kondo? Well, it's KonMari, but yeah. KonMari is her method, Marie Kondo's method. And it's all about making sure your room sparks joy, that you're getting rid of things that you don't need anymore. Some of you don't like getting rid of retired product, but I'm sure there's still products in your room that no longer spark joy in you. So make a box and then work out what you want to do with it, whether you donate, whether you sell, you know, work out what you are able to do and clear out your room because you don't want to keep stuff. You don't want it to become so overwhelming that then you don't know where to begin and you don't know where to start. So that's really, really important, isn't it, Bruno? Mm. He's been telling me for a long time. Mm. He's been trying and he's done very well. Now it all makes sense to me. 
So that is that trolley. And over here, we've got our beautiful Dymo label maker, which saves our life because it stores all of our addresses for the team and customers and anyone else that might purchase a bow easy from us or yeah, a lot of different things. And is there anything exciting about that? Yes, the exciting thing is the fact that it's wireless. Wow. So all three of us, Jesse, Bruno and I, we're all connected to that one printer and all of our addresses are saved. So if Jesse updates something, it updates all of our address books, which is really, really good. Just to confirm, the it, the addresses are not actually stored on the on Dymo. It's mm -hmm. stored online. Yeah. And we all access that. Yeah. So cool. very, very handy. This little box in the middle here, you don't remember where you got this from, do you? Ikea. Ikea. Oh, yep. there you go. So we've just got a few pens. I even went through my pens and culled out a lot. I only kept the ones that spark joy and the ones that work. As soon as a pen stops working, it goes in the bin. bin. Because Trash. otherwise, yeah, you end up with too many pens that, you know, at the end of the day, truly, you only need one. Why have we got so many? <laughs> So here's some really cool things here, just some um, stamps and post-it notes and things like that that get stored here and also our address labels and some envelopes for us to be able to get straight away. I'm going to lift that up so that they're easier to get. So I'm very excited. There's always a work in progress. And what I love is yesterday Bruno covered this with contact. Can you believe it? How beautiful does this desk look? It's good. And before it looked like this desk and had awful marks everywhere and it really did not spark joy in it's me because it's just you know a, and this is a trestle table smooth. but this just looks so beautiful and we're just so happy to work on it and it's good because the Stampin' Up inks are water-based so it's not going to create any problems with coloring on here and if it does how much did it cost a roll three dollars a roll three dollars did, did, did was this one roll that you used i used two rolls for that wow so that's really worth it and this sparks so much joy when I walk in the room. And we're going to do the other one too, but we've run out of contact, so we're getting a bit more. I just thought I'd test it first, and yeah. I think it's a good test. Yeah, it's excellent. And so this is my planner. This helps me Oops. to get, get organised. Oh, don't go too fast. You'll make people sick. They'll get motion sickness. <laughs> so this is my planner for what's coming up during the month, any hops that I've got. Um, any things that I've thought of and that really helps me to be organized as well and it, it has the the day the date any notes things like that so that's really helped out and my little storage um, container holder over there from Kmart that I just dressed myself with designer series paper and I love it it's got little drawers and I can put some things in there or um, some of the projects that we've made that we're ready to blog and like action, the things I need to action right away. Now, if we move over to the cupboard, so this is one of the cupboards, this is still a work in progress, but we've got a little bit of um, progress on this one. But basically this is just our, our wardrobe. The other half has all my skinny clothes in it that I will fit into one day. Um, but we use this half for all our business supplies. So up the top, you'll notice we've got all these storage boxes here these are for the envelopes for posting different sizes labels um, we've got some lists and things like that that sit in here like to do lists so we've got a lot of those that we collect this one here is my little stand that I use for my front facing camera when I'm doing the videos which is very handy and that's up there now do you like its new home Bruno if it stays mm -hmm. you don't like it there I really like it because it lies flat as long as it doesn't fall on someone, that's the only thing. And then we've got Dymo label makers. Dymo labels. A uh, Dymo labels. And we've got some uh, folders here with all our yucky tack stuff. But we need all that paperwork. And yeah, little brochures and things like that for joining and all of that sits in there. Some more cello bags that don't fit in the drawer because they're too big. But that's good there for now. So again, you know, bit of a work in progress still. Camera, it's got a home now. This is all vouchers and little things that I do for my team. So they might get, um, you know, congratulations. Thanks for sharing um, the Stampin' Up! experience with others. So like a referral, if you're one of my customers and you refer someone to us. Or it might be 
like a random act of kindness cards when we send them. I put little inserts, you've been chosen as a random act of kindness to receive this. So lots of little um, cards in there and also vouchers that we've made. We've got this amazing idea from Pootles, who did something, <laughs> did something similar. Hi, it's Sam. They're all our vouchers, that's Bruno doing Pootles. So yeah, all our vouchers that we can hand out to the team and any customers who for winning awards. And that just sits there. So that's nice and neat. Can I have that green thing? Yes, you may. What are you going to do with it, though? I'll spray you. I'm going to spray you. No, I've got your camera. <laughs> I don't need to be sprayed okay. right now. <laughs> and at the bottom we have a container that's specially for beauty supplies because that was all over the desk. Hand cream, uh, Jessie's spritz. I will spray this one, though. I like this one. Right. This one's a lot softer and nicer. Mm -hmm. This is... This is water, and it costs twenty dollars for the privilege of spraying yourself. Why on <gasps> earth did you buy that? Jesse bought it for us. Jesse, why on earth did you buy it? Just, it? It's so beautiful. I feel so awake now. So yeah, that's our little drawer. We've got to make sure that there's room for this to sit down. The, Stand up. I mean, it's, yeah. Well, it's, it's sitting down. It doesn't have legs, so it's on its bum. <laughs> And this one here is just little cards that I've received, random act of kindness that I need to thank people for and contact them, which is really nice and make sure I show on my videos. And yeah, so that's a cupboard, just some tote bags over here. This is the work in progress box. So if I don't know how to deal with it, I put it there. Catalogs. Which is pretty good because the whole room used to be the work in pro progress yeah, box. Yeah, it's very true. But yeah, this is the only box. And I just have to make sure I get onto it as soon as I can just to sort out the cards and where I want to put them. I have a, a group of ladies that have classes with uh, one of my team members. So I send a lot of the random active kindness cards I receive to them. And they either upcycle them or use them for ideas. So not only is um, I'm getting you know the enjoyment of receiving cards from people around the world but then that's being passed on to others to get more even more joy out of those cards and they love it they love being able to do something with them um we've got some team cards here welcome to the team so that they're all ready to go little note cards so yeah it's really coming together and we're really excited with the room so i'll go very slow bruno so you don't go too fast we don't want anyone getting motion sickness no way <laughs> so that is a tour of our room I hope you've enjoyed it and I know a lot of you have been asking for it so thank you so much for coming here today and if you have any other questions any comments I'd love to hear from you uh, I love hearing from my youtubers and thank you so much for all of your support and have a wonderful crafty week and make sure you go through your craft room. It might take a little bit of time to go through, but it's really, really important that you pull out anything that's not sparking joy in you, that you don't think you're gonna use anymore and find a new home uh, for someone to get joy out of those products because yeah, there's more things to collect. So have a wonderful week and we shall see you soon. Bye everyone.